Welcome to our first Back on the Road Living in Our Half Built Bus video. We are so excited to take you along for this vlog. We head to the Air Peninsula in South Australia and we're back on the road. We're so excited to be sharing this journey with you. We've just stopped off for a little break because I looked over and I was like, there's a Loch Ness monster and a pink lake. And it's actually so beautiful. It's very pretty in pink. Oh my gosh, your socks look so good with it. So as we drove a couple of hours north of Adelaide, we came across Lake Bumbunga near the town of Lockheel. It was really cool to stop off and see this beautiful pink lake and we absolutely loved exploring it. We have just arrived in Snowtown and we're just having, we're just having a hot chocolate. Hot for the road. Job done. We've done our little wake me up routine. Now we're on the road to Port Augusta. to dinner, salmon, potatoes, corn, mushrooms, yummy. Delish. So last night we stayed in a place called Wirraburra and we actually ended up sleeping next to these silos. We pulled in really late, we weren't expecting to be driving that late last night. So we thought this would be a safe spot to sleep. Successful second night in the bus. So the artist of this beautiful silo art is called Smug. Sam Bates is his name. Good job, Sam Bates. It's beautiful. It's funny how time winds down. Things you lose come back around. We're just going for a little walk in Melrose. Um, just to little explore. Yeah, we're planning to go for a big hike this afternoon with a friend and that's been really beautiful. So we're just stretching our legs, getting back into fitness again. <laughs> so we've just pulled up to our next campsite. The showgrounds in Melrose. Yeah, it's beautiful. We've got, we're all the way back here, so it's very private and there's a nice view. Um, we're just going to eat some lunch and then my friend's arriving and we're, we're going to go, go for a bit of a hike. We're going for a hike. Finally found a little oasis off the map. No reservations. Got this chance. Might as well take it. Oh, let's go. Anywhere. No destination. This is the current state of the bus. Not too bad considering. 
Um, we've just still obviously got our stuff that we need to pop away a bit better in our bus. Got the plants down here um, just so they don't fall over whilst we drive. Alright, good to go. Yep. On the board! Sycamore tree, climb up through that canopy to see the Indiana sky. Mm -hmm. There's no telling what we find on back roads. Forgotten time, we let our wonder be the shine. It's gonna lead us on this ride. just sat down to eat dinner. We've got fajita wraps tonight, chicken fajita wraps. We made it to Wayala and when we got here we had to do some errands um, and then we both went and did a gym session and had a nice shower so using our gym memberships on the trip which is good and yeah now we're just having some dinner by the jetty in Wayala which was super beautiful. There was a really nice sunset mm. and then I think we'll clean up and go to bed and continue on tomorrow. So I just went for a walk out on the beach and it was the clearest water I have seen in a very long time. That was amazing. Apparently this is not always the case here in Wayala so we're very lucky to get it on a morning like this. It's just stunning. Stunning, darling. So beautiful. Alrighty, so we have just made it to a place called Cowell. Cow. Cow. Um, and we've just stopped to have a bit of lunch. I just had some leftover chicken from last night. Dan's having some hot cross bun Under the grill. Delicious. And yeah, the grill is being amazing. I'm gonna make us a bit of a smoothie. We've got some blackberries. Thank you, Rose. And we've got yeah, just make a bit of a protein smoothie. And yeah, we only drove for an hour today. We're just gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we'll probably head to a couple of little coves. So we're just basically driving maybe like an hour, two hours, not too far each day, which is good. All the oyster boats are coming in as we're eating our lunch. Oh yeah, coming in, going out. I'm going out. So we continued on along the coast of the beautiful Air Peninsula. Both of us hadn't explored the Air Peninsula in such detail before, so it was really beautiful to stop in at all the little towns and really get a feel for this beautiful coastline. We then went to a really nice free camp. The corrugations on the way in were hectic that you're about to see in these videos, but it was a really cool spot and I'm super keen to show you, but yeah, the corrugations were wild. Made it. That was a very corrugated road, and we did hear something smash back here. We definitely should have aired, but down. <laughs> I don't really know what it was. Might not have been anything. Could have just been a draw opening. Oh, no, you. I think these all survive. And love is what has brought us here. We got some bolognese on the stove and this is the camp spot that we are staying in tonight. It's absolutely beautiful. The moon's popped its head out over there. It's a donation camp spot, so there's a little donation thing. So we woke up at this beautiful free camp. It was such a nice sleep. You could hear the waves when you were falling asleep, which was so nice. Um, I just got up and did a little bit of yoga this morning. It was pretty sore from a gym session I did a few days ago, so it was nice to get up and do some yoga. And Dan is now airing down the tires because of the corrugated roads to get in and out. They're pretty hectic, so 
yeah, he's going to air down the tyres just to help with that a little bit. And yeah, we've just both been cleaning up the bus a little bit this morning, doing some organising, finding a few different places for things. And yeah, we're going to go check out a place called Lips and Cove today. And yeah, we'll keep bringing you along and hope you are enjoying this first video of us getting back on the road. So we've just pulled into Lips and Cove to have a look and it is so beautiful. The water is like aqua blue, the sand is pretty much almost white. So nice. You can stay here the night. Um, it's the morning and we just stayed at that other beautiful campsite, so we're not going to stay here tonight. Carowells. Um, it's a donation camp. I think it might be $20, but I don't yeah, quote me on that. It's um, a little bit more expensive, I think. Yeah. We can go down and read the sign and find out exactly what it is. So, yeah, it is $20 per site per night or $100 per site for the week. Maximum two weeks stay. It's absolutely beautiful, so totally fair enough. Just wanna fly away with you in a few days now and it's the Easter weekend and we have a free car park so we are just going to be doing some jobs in here today so Dan is just currently cutting the shelf for in this cupboard um, because this is going to be a really good storage shelf for a few things. I went through and I put all of the spices in my little spice jars. So yeah, Dan did uh, also did an oil change in the bus today. Yeah I just did a quick oil change um, yeah that's pretty much it. <laughs> Love that. Good upkeep of the bus. Old oil's in here, new oil was in here, and now the old oil's in here, so we'll take that um, past the dump on Tuesday. We arrived in Port Lincoln and we absolutely loved exploring and seeing what Port Lincoln had to offer. We also spent some really nice time with my nan who lives there, and then we moved on to Fishery Bay. The first thing we did when we got there was to go for a surf. It was really nice and it turns out that my grandpa also used to surf at Fishery Bay. So it was really nice to honour him and it was such a beautiful beach. Nobody lives forever Let's go down together I really want somebody I really need somebody Nobody lives forever Let's go down together oh. 